State Department is really, really large and there's a lot of staff members and they are sort of across the spectrum in terms of early adopters and people who are sort of more reticent to embrace these new tools. Um, I work in a bureau called IIP, so International Information Programs, um, and we are basically an extension on the technology and content side for public diplomacy. So um, all of our embassies, all of our public diplomats out on the field, supporting them with both IT infrastructure, platforms and tools to get their message out. I'm kind of a digital take on what we've been doing for a long, long time and sort of just engaging with other countries and really individuals down to the foreign audience level. We're everywhere. We're in every country, all over the place. I think it's 260 plus posts out there. Um, so a very large audience. And then generally the content that we're dealing with is not really sensitive stuff. So these are press releases. They are American cultures and values, right? So um, imagine just translating simple things that we sort of take for granted here as a domestic audience into other languages and sort of disseminating, pushing that stuff out. You know, where's the president? What's he up to? Where's the secretary? What's he up to? Um, simple things like that that are easy here in the states to just kick out over broadband really quickly you know um, but maybe not necessarily the case in Africa where you have trouble even getting 3G cell service you know but it's still very heavily sort of email and file based and so we're hoping to sort of help some of that along to the next evolution of you know centralized cloud repositories where there's just one copy of this cable um, and then wrap some workflow around it you know there are a lot of good workflow engines out there Salesforce has a powerful one there are many others um, but they allow you to see here's the document I'm working on um, oh by the way multiple teams can be collaborating on it at the same time um, it's all version controlled so you know who was the last person to edit it and you can revert any of that if you need to um, but probably more importantly, kill the email threads, right? There's no more need for reply all and, and shuttling around 39 versions of a track change Word document. Um, and then also being able to know where this thing is in that approval chain and sort of who has the action and who's gonna move it on to the next thing. So I think there are light years of modernization that we could do just around that. Um, we're really sort of helping, trying to lead the agency in terms of like, let's just figure this out together. We can sort of be your innovation shop, you know, a little bit of your guinea pig out here in the forefront. Um, and if this stuff doesn't work, we can always turn it off and stand it down. But we're kind of opting for, let's try a little more and let's see what sticks. Um, so there's lots of collaboration options we don't need all of them clearly at the end of the day but um, let's pick the one of those that works best for the PD teams and then the State Department real large and hopefully pivot that into an enterprise rollout of some sort in the coming years so pretty exciting stuff. You know, there's nothing there that would reach those thresholds for the FISMA world and the cloud computing world that would be of a higher sensitivity level where you'd need to encrypt it or hide it or make sure it has special controls around it. Um, so we've been doing our best there to just sort of start on the bottom end of the spectrum. So the FISMA low publicly available stuff and work our way up from there. Um, and that seems to be a really good approach in that you can really have a larger return on investment out there and just keep working on that side um, for a long, long time. And that's a lot of the information that we deal with. We're eventually going to end up in moderate and eventually classified, you know, but there are so many gains to be made right now on the just sort of lowest hanging fruit, the FISMA low, you know, unclassified side of the world. So I think starting there, seeing what works and then sort of figuring out, okay, now we have this new thing and maybe we need to do a little more sensitive data handling here. How do we move up the ATO stack? How do we make sure that FedRAMP controls have been applied? And um, just coming from those backgrounds, a lot of that stuff already exists. So most of these instances of cloud services we're already running in are rated for FISMA moderate. Um, so we can kind of grow into those as the agency and the culture and the information catches up, I think.